Broward County Sheriff Scott Israel released the video footage showing what one of his deputies was doing as mass murderer Nicolas Cruz took the lives of 17 innocent people in Parkland, Florida. It's no wonder it took a court order to force the sheriff to release it. According to Daily Caller, Broward County Sheriff Scott Israel released video footage of his deputy, Scott Peterson, showing exactly what he was doing as Nicolas Cruz made his way through Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School murdering students and teachers in cold blood on Valentine's Day. The embattled sheriff fought to keep the video footage private but was recently forced to release it by a judge, and what it shows is infuriating. In the clip, which was released by the Broward County Sheriff's Office on Thursday, March 15, 2018, the armed resource officer, later identified as Scott Peterson, is seen standing outside the school doing exactly what most of us have heard he did, nothing at all. The video provides evidence to the public that Scott Peterson failed to protect the innocent victims who died on February 14, 2018. The footage shows Peterson walking back and forth between two different buildings as the shooting started. According to previous reports, Peterson claimed he was taking up a tactical position. According to a CNN report, the Broward County Sheriff's Office released the following statement in regard to the newly released video. The video speaks for itself. His actions were enough to warrant an internal affairs investigation, as requested by Sheriff Scott Israel on February. 21. After being suspended without pay, Peterson chose to resign and immediately retire, rather than face possible termination. Peterson previously released a statement through his attorney claiming that he didn't know where the shots were being fired and whether they were coming from inside or outside the buildings. Peterson's big lie came crashing down after radio transmission recordings proved that Peterson had fixated on building number 12 of the school and said over the radio that shots were coming from inside, according to the Miami Herald. The bottom line is that Scott Peterson is a coward who didn't want to risk his life to save the lives of 17 innocent people and many others who would be injured that day. Following the shooting, Sheriff Israel was quick to hang Peterson out to dry, admitting immediately that he had not done his job. That's an undeniable fact, after watching the troubling footage below. Sheriff Scott Israel tried to make it appear as if the buck stopped with his coward deputy. The Broward County Sheriff emphatically claimed that what happened at the high school that day, in regard to the conduct of his deputies, was not his responsibility. More recently, Sheriff Israel has continued his inexcusable behavior by refusing to testify before Congress on the opening day of their investigation into the Parkland shooting. Lawmakers in Washington, D.C., were so incensed that one, in particular, had harsh words for the sheriff. The committee also invited Broward County Sheriff Scott Israel to testify. He declined. I've seen that sheriff all over television discussing the shooting, so it's disappointing that he has refused to speak to the country through his testimony before this committee," Senator Chuck Grassley, R. Iowa, said in his rebuke of Sheriff Israel. I could not agree more with the senator from Iowa. Scott Israel should have eagerly agreed to testify before Congress and provide answers for his failures as a sheriff as well as the failures of his office. The extent to which Sheriff Israel has gone to cover his butt and make it look like this tragedy is a gun control issue is incomprehensible. It's almost as if he is an agent of the left who is capitalizing on a horrific mass shooting that he is in part responsible for not preventing. 
numerous officials and agencies have been called into question and will be raked over the coals by Congress for their failure to act before it was too late. The FBI and local law enforcement agencies will eventually be held accountable for their part in failing to protect the innocent victims at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, and rightfully so. While it won't bring those victims back, perhaps it will serve as a warning to other lawmen to do their job and do it well, like most of our men and women in blue, who vow to protect and serve, do every day. Dishonoring a badge should not and will not be tolerated, especially when it puts our children at risk.